Choice has revealed the best and worst of popular Kmart appliances. So which products are worth your hard-earned dosh? For more, we are joined by Choice's Jonathan Brown. A very good morning to you. So tell us, who are the big winners? Ah, uh, it's this microwave here is a real big winner from Kmart. It is a little beauty. It scored 85% in our lab tests. And it's really cheap. It's only $48 what? for this Kmart Anko microwave. Look, it's not as powerful as lots of other microwaves on the market, but it does a really good job of cooking your food, getting it done. So if you're a bit of a microwave chef like I am, a little bit lazy, the yeah. uh, Kmart microwave isn't too bad. But we also have uh, a Yanko food processor beat out a $2,200 model from another brand. Wow. Which is pretty huge difference. But uh, also Kmart's coffee machine. It's a really popular choice. It's not quite the same as the barista made coffee you might be used to, but it also beat out machines worth over $200. Wow. Um, also, I, look, I, I love making a pie um, and the and the the pie machine, the came up pie machine is fantastic. Is it worth all the hype? Do you reckon? Absolutely. The came up pie maker, this Anko pie maker, did really well in our tests. We compared it with an oven, so we did proper oven pies, and we found there was a huge difference. It took over forty minutes to make the same pies in the oven, and only thirteen minutes in this cute little Kmart Anko pie maker. And you get these beautiful little crusty brown pies yeah. that are great in the small individual servings. But we did also try their bigger family pie maker and it wasn't as good. So we reckon these neat little packages, they're the ones to pick up from Kmart. And you don't yeah, have to cool. share them if they're little either. No. You know, that's a plus. Um, so there are all the diamonds. Uh, any duds? <laughs> Uh, if you want to stay warm while we're still in this cold part of the year, Kmart's Anko Heater. So last year, we awarded them the worst heater that we have seen in years and years in the Choice Labs. Basically, a warm pet rock. And for 2020, they listened to our feedback and did even worse. They oh. made a heater <laughs> that was even more terrible. But one of our tips is if you do get one of these convection heaters, Get the fan out from summer and at least you'll be able to circulate that heat oh, around. Oh, that's a good idea. But this particular Kmart heater, it actually, like, it feels like crap, sounds like crap. It is an absolute hunk of crap. Wow. It is a turkey. Hang on, so you, you, yes or no to the heater? Um, your language isn't clear enough. <laughs> hey, um, there's a serious warning about the bassinet, right? Tell us about that. Yes, so uh, Kmart's bassinet, at Choice, we do a lot of safety tests on children's products and unfortunately the regulations in Australia are really terrible. It's only after things get onto the shelves that we then find out anything's wrong and then regulators and all of the people who decide whether products are safe, they are act after people have been injured or after people have been hurt. So we test to the highest safety standards and unfortunately we found Kmart's Anko bassinet had a suffocation risk for children around, around the base of the bassinet. Oh. So we do test to a high standard, but we do not recommend this one because of chances. that suffocation risk. So even though there's a suffocation risk, you can still buy these? You can, and that's the downside of how Australia's safety laws work. It's all after the fact. It's after kids get injured, it's after people get hurt that then these products get pulled off the shelves. So that's why Choice, we buy these products and we test them ourselves so that we can see whether it's safe when it gets into your home. Fantastic stuff. And uh, we'll whack all those details on our website. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you.